Hello everybody, I'm Miner Jaluna and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you, an automatic chicken farm, as you probably saw in the title. So this thing right here is very inefficient, so if you want to build one in your survival world, I'd recommend building a smaller one, because I used a ton of materials here. And it doesn't look too bad, but it used up a lot of materials and things. Um, but let's get straight into it because I don't want to bore you to death. Um, we have 64 chickens in each of these little, like, pens, I guess. Um, and there, there are hoppers underneath them to pick up the eggs they lay. Those hoppers lead into dispensers that are, um, regularly powered by a redstone clock. And so that whenever the dropper picks up an egg, the dropper will immediately throw the egg, and sometimes it will spawn a chicken. As you can see here, the, there are... Oh, you just saw one there. there. There's just a chick that came out of that egg, and so that happens. So then, the thing is, the thing about chickens and chicks is that chicks don't drop anything when they're killed, but chickens do. So I needed a way to sort the chicks out from the chickens and only kill the chickens. And I figured it out because chicks can go underneath half slabs without being hurt, but chickens cannot. Chickens will suffocate underneath half slabs. And so here I have a piston system that uses daylight sensors to push pistons in toward that half slab. Um, I have one that's set to detect day and one that's set to detect night. That way they're not both on the same timing. Although I think you could do it like with any timing, just so that it does it regularly. Um, and so, the at regular interval, intervals, the pistons push the chickens into the half slab, and the fully grown the fully grown chickens will be pushed into the half slab and suffocate and die. Um, and then the minecarts under here are going round and round and picking up the items, which they will then place in these hoppers and it will go into the chest. Oh, I dropped a rail, apparently. Um, but all, everything that's dropped, everything that's up here will go through the block because hopper minecarts can pick up um, items that, have, that are on the block above them and the hopper minecarts will pick it up and put it into the hoppers right here. So if I go in here and show you I have a minecart that goes around the outside here to pick up any spare drops because the drops like to go all over the place. Oh, well, of course it stopped. So that the, these two minecarts go around and collect anything that may be dropped by our chicken friends. And that's basically how the farm works. So I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to bore you. But like I said, um, if you want to make this in a survival world, I'd recommend using a smaller version, maybe just like just have one block, a uh, one block space for the chickens to lay eggs, and then one dropper with one redstone um, clock, and then one daylight sensor to push the pistons in. Um, I think that would work just as well. Now this is a work in progress. I am, I'm gonna try to make this smaller and easier to use because right now it's it's just like it works. But it's not very efficient, and not in neither in materials nor in time. And so I've tried a couple of different ideas, and I can't quite figure out how to make it simpler, but I promise I'll figure something out, and when I do, I'll make another video. If you have any ideas on how to make this a better machine, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know like how to make this better, because like I've said before, I'm really bad with redstone. So, um... Yeah, please help me out in the comments if you have any ideas. Um, please remember to like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you if you want to see more videos like this because I do post videos every single Friday, and that that will be it from me today. Goodbye.